Please remember that this material is only for educational purposes and should never be tried on the public internet. Spiderfoot has two ways in which we can set it up, the GUI or CLI. Today we're going to focus on the GUI as it's a bit easier on the eye when you are first starting out. Pseudo APD install Spiderfoot will get you there. As you can see, this has already been installed, so we can move on. To show you what happens when you just type Spiderfoot, type Spiderfoot. It asks for two more parameters, but more importantly, you must be a root user. I did say earlier this would be GUI based, but these setup is via the CLI. Now we are in root user mode, we can try again. We can now add the minus L followed by 127.0.0.1.5001. This is the loopback address of the machine, so you will visit this IP address shortly. Copy the link that is generated and paste it into your browser. That is the last CLI element of the video. Now you are on the GUI and you see it is a fairly easy interface to navigate and shows a previous scan. We are now going to start scans against two machines. One is the Metasploitable VM, which we have downloaded from the internet. A second site called VulnWeb, which is a known vulnerable website, which I have ethically hacked in a previous video using SQL Map. We flick back over to Metasploitable, and to begin the process, we require the IP address of the virtual machine using ifconfig. We take that IP address of the machine and we will paste this into a new scan to begin the scan process. I name the scan Meta2 and place the IP address in the scan target field. There are different choices for the type of scan here, but for now we will leave it on all. Now scroll down to the bottom and we click the Run Scan Now button. This kicks off the scan and for a short while it may appear that nothing is happening. Eventually though, a bar graph will appear with specific results which we will look at briefly shortly. Looking at the results of your scan may be a little daunting at first, but we will review this in depth in a later video. For now, we're going to look at a previous scan, which if you look at the elements column, has a much higher number. Clicking on the summary tab, it shows the x-axis has lots of elements to it. But for now, we're going to scan the second site which we can visit at testphp.volnweb.com. So we will go through the same process as earlier, setting up the scan with a name and target IP address. Or in this case, we can use a URL, but remove the HTTP. Once that is in place, hit the scan button and let the process begin. As this site has vulnerabilities, it is already producing a lot of results. Let this run through to the end and we will review. This particular site and scan can run for a long time, as you can see. If we click on the scans button at the top, this is where we can view the current running scan status and the previous scans also. If you click the box next to a running scan, you can stop it right here. Now we can look at the previous metasploitable scan right here by clicking on the hyperlink. The results are large, but more digestible visually by looking at the summary tab. The first useful element is the HTTP headers. Within here, you can see the useful information such as the Apache version being used, the version of PHP and Ubuntu. A very useful element is the open TCP ports. These are vital in a report to know what is open to attack. Click on the data element tab to put in numerical order. If you click on the element open TCP port banner, there is more information in here. Straight away, we can see there is the open SSH version, and also at the top, the version of SFTP being used. There is the certificate on the machine, which will be useful to check for expiry, the root CA, and other details. That was a quick overview, but we are now going to do the same with the other scan, which is named AccuArt. Clicking the summary tab also shows a lot of information. We can look at the HTTP headers again and see Nginx as the web server. Click the description element and you can see it is an Amazon web server within the cloud 
Returning to the summary again, we can see the web content. So this is the HTML code of the site. I can see this has old Dreamweaver code within it, suggesting this is a very old site. Old may mean vulnerable, so worth checking this out. The summary even has a physical address if you want to know who is hosting the site. There are other administration areas of Spiderfoot to visit as well. So back on the scans tab, you can see all the scans we have run, and if you choose to run again, this is possible. Tick the box next to your previous scan, and you can, can delete, export, or run again. As you can see, we are now running the same scan again, but at a later date, so as to compare any results. So get practicing with it. Spiderfoot is a great awesome tool written by Steve McAuliffe, so I'll credit to him. Thanks so much for watching this video today by the G-Man channel. Join us again in the future for more useful IT and cybersecurity content. See you soon.